Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to do a quick review on this Eile or Qwork battery monitor. I finally got it uh, set properly to where it reads the size of my battery bank and then I had to charge it up the battery bank to a hundred percent and then set this thing to a hundred percent because as I said before uh, when you hook it up it doesn't know what a hundred percent is so you have to make sure you get this battery monitor or uh, excuse me get your battery pack or battery bank up to a hundred percent and then you can uh, show this monitor what that 100% is and then from then it, it'll be uh, uh, monitoring it effortlessly for you and you'll know exactly what's going on. So like right now you can see how it's pulsating and that's how it does when it's charging. So this is at float right now on this uh, lithium battery and if you press the left side it shows you the current state of voltage. If you press the center, it shows you how many amps coming off of your uh, solar panels is it taking to keep it at float. And as you can see right now, it's taking just over three amps to keep it at that float position. So it compensates for the inverter running and a few things running in the house as well. So. And then on the right side, that's where once you get to that 100%, you want to click the right button here and, and then hold it down and it'll go to 100% and then you just hold it down for a couple of seconds and that tells it, okay, you're at 100% now. So right now it reads it at 99.7% full so it's you know it's it's there it's 100% just a little variation and like I said that pulsating that it's doing right now where you can see how it gets bright dim bright dim that's what it does when it's charging so there we are floating at 13.6 exactly what I wanted here just to show you a little bit uh, <clears throat> how chasing voltage on these lithium iron phosphate batteries is. This is is dead accurate. If I go up to the uh, inverter reading, you can see it's reading it at 13.5. And then if I jump up here, and I'll turn this, uh, actually you'll be able to see that. And that says 13.7. And as I pointed out before, these MT50s, you know, they, they usually show the voltage a little bit higher. And you can see I've got 5 amps, 5.5 amps coming in. Holding it at 13.7 according to that. It's a little high. It's not completely accurate. So this is one of the things on chasing the voltage around. That uh, This is why you'll hear everybody say, this is what you want to get. You want to get some time of the type of a good battery monitor. This one's really cheap. You don't have to spend a lot of money. And it's 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 really nice. It's just so accurate. So I just wanted to make a quick video on this. Now I can uh, decide where I want to put this more at eye level, but while I've been dinking around with everything, uh, I've just had it down here. So everything is working as it should. Very happy, learned a lot, and now I can just leave it like that, come in here at the end of an evening and see, you know, how much am I using this battery, and now I'll know exactly uh, what the state of charge is, especially since the lithium iron, uh, you know, holds at that 13.2 forever when you're discharging. You know, are you at 50%? Are you at 70%? Even though the voltage doesn't change, now be able to really see where things stand. So, there you go. This will indicate 
whether you're charging or discharging right now still charging just to keep it at float so anyway this thing's working really good just wanted to do a little clarification of how chasing the voltage around on these batteries uh, is a learning curve for sure but how much easier it is once you get one of these type of monitors because it's not so accurate up there and of course it's not so accurate up there on the charge controller either but this this is accurate and that's exactly what I wanted so now it knows what a hundred percent full is and that's all I needed to do and that's all I wanted to say all right have a good weekend everybody aloha